Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're going to be doing my everyday makeup look. So if you want to see how I achieve this look then please keep watching. I waxed up my eyebrows so what we're going to do is just brush them up like that. Then I use the NYX um, micro brow pencil. Just that one. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line straight underneath it just to make it really sharp. And then at the front, we're just going to brush them up a tiny bit. With a very light hand, we're just going to do little strokes on them. So at the top, we're going to draw a line again on the hairline and maybe a tiny bit above. Just to fill in any sparse areas. So once that's done, now we're just going to go in the brow and just fill in the middle and any sparse areas. And then one last brush. Then we're just going to take a the concealer, Maybelline Fit Me, that's what I use. And all we're going to do is just put it straight underneath. Then we're going to take a little flat brush and carve out the eyebrows. Then we're just going to take a little beauty blender and blend that out. And again, the Beauty Blender. Okay, so now that the eyebrows are done, I like to start off with moisturising my face. This is the O Cosmetics. This is the Recovery Cream. I swear by this, and I swear by all O Cosmetics products. So we just take about that much. Rub it in my hands. And then on my face. And then next I like to take the still a one step correct corrector. So it just looks like this. I like to use this one just because I have a fair bit of redness. And this helps cancel it all out. So I just take about that much. And I just grab this little brush and then place it all on. Okay, so also as well, I like to use the Urban Decay All Night Makeup Setting Spray just first, just to give my face more hydration. That one's just it there. Okay, now base for the foundation. So I use the Stiller Stay All Day. I'm in the shade Hue, number five. 
can you feel it? That's even the wrong freaking way. I just pump it onto there. And I take this little brush and paint my face. Okay, now once all that's on, I just take a beauty blender and we're just gonna blend that out. I find this foundation to be really nice. It's very like full coverage, I reckon. Well, medium to full coverage. So sometimes I put maybe a little bit more around the places that need it, but I am quite happy with the coverage at the moment. with that so next is concealer so again the Maybelline fit me and then I just take my little beauty blender and blend out What I also do is like my T-zone. So I just take a tiny bit there, there, and here. And then just blend. So I actually tried something new the other day and all I do is get the darker shade of the concealer and I bronze up my face. I usually just use the Hoola Benefit um, powder but I tried this and I'm still tossing up if I like it or not but so I put this on first, blend that out and then I put the Hoola Benefit on too. So I'll show you. Then I just get my beauty blender and blend that. And then I just get it and I go around the edges. Okay, so that's just really like runs up the face. Still not sure. I do like it and I don't like it. So what I like to do is just get it and blend it under my eyes. And again with this eye. So now that under my eyes are set, I like to just set the rest of my face. I use the Australis Pressed Powder in the shade Darkest Brown. Just like this. And then I just use a brush like this. So we're just going to get that.
Now that the face is all set, I then like to bronze up the face again. So I use the Hula Benefit and I'm just gonna use this little bit of an angled brush. So the next step I do is highlighter. My go-to is MAC Soft and Gentle, but I have been using the Chi Chi palette. So I'll just open it up and show you what it's like. So the MAC Soft and Gentle is sort of between these two colors, but I'm gonna use this color here. TT is quite an affordable brand too, so if you don't want to spend lots on high-end products, I do find TT quite good and reasonably cheap. I probably always go overboard with highlighter, but I just can't help it. So once the highlight is done, I then like to go back with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And all I'm going to do is get it and then bake under where I've contoured. So this is just going to make it a lot more sharper. Okay, while we're waiting for that, I'm just going to get a curler and curl my eyelashes. Okay, so once my eyelashes are curled, I then like to take my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. So it just looks like this. I'm just going to coat the top and bottom. What I like to do is start at the very bottom of the lash and then wiggle up so it sort of separates them as well. Can anyone do mascara without doing a weird face? Because I can't. Seriously? Really? I have a good trick for you guys for that one actually. So lashes are done and now we're just going to take that big brush again and wipe away the translucent powder. So if you do that, like me, if you're an idiot, you just let that dry and then once it's dry, you just get a spoolie and you just gently like rub it off and it comes off without taking your makeup off either. Okay, so once all the face is done, so three lip products that I generally use. So I'll either use the NYX Crayon Lip Liner. This color, the shade is Nude. Nude slash Daphne. So I'll just put that on. Other two lip products I use is just a Lip Balm and Paw Paw. So it's just them. So I'm just gonna put them on today just to give it a bit of a gloss. So this is the finished look. I'll zoom you guys in. Wrong way.
please comment below any videos that you would like to see me do. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.